let's start on the samosa pocket. Some salt, not too much. I always add some sugar. And then the flour. Each pocket, that should be enough. I would say that's one cup, actually. Add a little water. You add water as you go. So you're not adding way too much and end up adding so much flour. And as you can see, the bowl is becoming clean. And that's what you want to add up with, end up with. That's what we end up with. And I'm going to cover this with um, with a paper. I'm going to cover this with a shrink wrap or on top and leave this here for five, six hours. Well, until I get back from work and I will take it out. If you are a foodie like me and you love to use Zippo or shrink wrap or strip wrap, however you call them, this is the day. I love it because it takes any shape of whatever container I have. And also I can overstack the stuff on it. I do not have to worry at all. I got this from Sam's Club if you need any for yourself. One eternity later. Okay, let's see what we have here. Oh my goodness. I think I overlapped it because it's now too soft, but that's fine no biggies we are going to put flour on the ground and um just roll it again and kind of like make it a, a little a little in you know medium not too firm not too too soft just something that we can do and i want to cut this into small three balls that i need to roll separately and since i have those three balls i want to make sure that everything is you know have that good touch and feeling some love in there and now it's time to roll this i want to make sure that they're all rolled in three good circles or three good rounds they don't have to be even for me i mean you're not eating a shape and the circle you're eating something that goes in there and because i've done with rolling the circles i'm applying the oil on top of each flat bread here and also sprinkle some flour and then on top of one circle i put um i apply some more oil and put some more flour and then that becomes it and now it's to time to roll all the three circles making sure that every edge is having some touches I don't have to have a complete circle just kind of like a rectangular and now i'm cutting out into three pieces where i'm going to have like a long rectangular shape because that's how we're going to have the wraps um for some more sir and i'm laying them on a cookie sheet or baking sheet and put them in the oven for 180 degrees centigrade or fahrenheit excuse me and it's going to be for 15 minutes and since they are done let's have this cooling off meanwhile dancing now and these um samosa pockets have cooled off and now it's time to take them apart and oh my 
goodness look at how softly they are peeling off this is exactly what you want to end up with that's why you apply oil and sprinkle some flowers in between so they don't stick together when they cool off and good gracious that's how you have the pockets that you stuff in whatever you want to stuff in whether it's the vegetables or the meat however you want to stuff in there and also oh my goodness the shape is perfect and if you haven't subscribed and you have come this far please subscribe to my channel like comment and share